Today I'm going to show you all a recipe on shish tuluk redneck style. And today's video is brought to you by Elijah Craig and Homegrown Carolina Reapers. Now in this recipe, instead of dicing everything finely, I'm just going to prepare the ingredients and use a blender and then combine it with the yogurt afterwards. Uh, this recipe makes enough marinade for four pounds of chicken, which I've already pre-prepared. Pretty much everything's pre-prepared. The spices are in that little cup and I'll just go over the recipe. It's one and a half cups of plain yogurt, 3%, a couple onions, four limes, some garden tomatoes. Uh, these are for spice, that's four cayennes and two small scotch bonnets, a palm full of cilantro, half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, uh, some sliced ginger, fresh, fresh garlic cloves, obviously uh, four pounds of chicken breast. Any kind of chicken that's boneless will work. Chicken breast just happened to be cheaper than thigh, legs, everything else. Uh, so I use chicken breast this go around. And what you wanna do is prepare the chicken. Once it's boneless, you smack it with the mallet a bit, tenderize it, basically that allows the marinade to soak into it. Uh, and then you wanna cube it into a boat inch, inch and a half cubes around there. It, it doesn't need to be precise, but the rest of the spices are a tablespoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of ground oregano, uh, half a teaspoon of ground rosemary, that's a personal favorite of mine, uh, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves, and then obviously some ginger and garlic to taste. And that should give you the basics of it. Now I'll show you it while it's all mixed up. Oh shoot, almost forgot there's some allspice in there. There's a half a teaspoon of allspice, that's why it's there. Then I use the pestle and mortar to grind it. So half a teaspoon of allspice as well. I'll show you it when it's done. All right, so it's all ground up or blended. Uh, the limes were juicier than expected. I always add two and then see where we're at on the juiciness. These ones were really thin skinned, had a lot of juice in them. I just throw them rind in and everything. Same with the ginger uh, because I'm lazy and this is a marinade, so whatever. So I'm just gonna add those two. And uh, oh, I added a little bit more black pepper. I'm not sure if I mentioned that I had black pepper in there, but that's about a tablespoon and then I added added more. Blend it all up with the yogurt now. All right, everything's added and mixed, and then just needs to be poured onto the chicken. Smells and tastes very delicious, and basically dome that with the lid, shake it up a bit, leave it in the refrigerator overnight, and then uh, can either put it on a stick, fry it in a pan, there's lots of ways you can do this. You can do it with uh, peppers, onions on a stick, then throw it on a barbecue. That'd be delicious. Uh, I usually throw it on a pan and then uh, just throw it on a bed of rice after extra saucy. All right, two out of the three have been baptized appropriately and given a good shake. The other one's just prepped up. I was just gonna explain what the process is here. Basically the citric acids from the lime break help tenderize the meat. The tenderizer definitely helps tenderize the meat. Uh, the salt helps tenderize the meat and give it obviously flavor. So does the lime and all that other, other stuff. And the yogurt is actually a tenderizer too. So that's the process there. So it's basically just tenderizing the chicken and soaking in, uh, absorbing the spice flavors and uh, works out pretty well. And it's delicious. Thanks for watching. Try this.